Hey hi, welcome back to the series of financial safety sessions. I am Tota Krishna Hema, your financial safety expert. So today we would like to discuss about safety culture, which is according to ISO 26262. This is common for um, SORTIF or any other safety standards like UL 4600. Um, so let us get into the details and for the most likes. The ultimate goal of ISO 26262 or functional safety is to reduce the risk associated with particular safety critical product. The safety culture mitigates risk associated with the safety management or the safety life cycle management. The safety culture is nothing but um, a set of processes and means like it is step by pro step by step procedures and associated templates checklists guidelines which we need to apply throughout the safety life cycle and uh, see the safety culture is nothing but implementing these all things and you know we need to provide training and awareness to the implementers in uses of the same means like this established safety culture across the organization um so and one more thing is like you know we have a lot of safety experts inside our organization does not bring in any value to the product so we need to know like when exactly we need to involve them so that's what the safety culture defines too it's like it will bring in the races it will bring in like you know when a safety expert need to be involved in the product so yeah i'm i'm very you know uh, particular about the safety cu first culture but say bringing safety expert in the, into the top of the hierarchy does not uh, bring in any of the uh, value add to the product but we need to know like when to involve them in uh, involving the safety expert at the life at the right time saves our product Safety depends on establishing culture and implementation of processes. So it is like, you know, like we are implementing a process and we are applying this particular templates or tools which are required to implement the, implement the safety culture. So we need to implement the review mechanisms. We need to implement the qualification mechanisms, like tool qualification mechanisms, software component qualification, and also the proven in use argument, like how to make it. These all things like we need to, um, we need to get an information from the safety culture establishment itself. So yeah, with this is bringing in safety culture first, like safety first culture is like, um, yeah, this is nothing but like an implementer could be able to, you know, report a defect and he can be able to stop the uh, stop the process, engineering process, if it is very critical. Uh, so first of all, he need to report it, then he need to escalate it and he need to stop it. So when, see, the, the decision making is depends on the urgency of the or the stage of the product also like working for the development or manufacturing could be able to stop the process if he identifies a flaw in any of the product phase. So generally it happens with the safety assurance team or the quality assurance team like if it, before they are releasing it to the next phase of the product development so they can be able to stop the release something like this so here also the same way it works out like first of all we need to report it and we need to escalate it and we need to we can be able to stop if we are an implementer of the product here are a few violations which we have given as an example is design flaws requirement ambiguity the lack of clarity in requirements and skipping of review skipping of reviews like uh, a few review mechanisms which are important here and non problems considered during violations so any of the violations which we are taking and uh, from the safety life cycle or the safety culture so which um, is very essential so here we want to discuss another thing also like you know implementation of agile framework in in automotive is sounds very interesting like going documentation less or less documentation sounds awesome but it is less practical in automotive domain as the life expectancy of automotive product is more and which involves lives of people yeah we can implement agile in the software development 
yeah because in most of our projects like we are implementing agile we are implementing scrum we are implementing uh, uh, scrum ban and these kind of things uh, we are using for our software development but wherein for the real time means like uh, uh, the work uh, means like uh, we cannot be able to skip few essential essential steps so uh, that's thing we need to define as a part of safety culture and uh, yeah here i came to the end of the topic if you like this concept like click on the like button if you want for the more automotive videos subscribe to my channel thank you